President Cyril Ramaphosa led the presidential young men and boys in Daba at Mabonyo Mall and Clip Strait earlier today. The Indaba, which was also attended by Gauteng Premier Banyaza Lusufi and Minister of Education and G. Mutsecha, aims to address the challenges faced by men as well as raise awareness about GBV and femicide among young men and boys. Mo President Wana Hailing Cyril Ramaphosa wete leze peleti mayari puisa no lebana lebana babashanyana hotwa di kolong tse fa paning tse tikulu honya Johannes Peke pejana kajeno tema ena ya young men and boys indaba ene nge tsware tsue si jing sama benkele sama ponya mo se mo tsani wa klep spread ene tse di tsue geto na kholo ya provinsi ya khaute ngile mpanya za li sufi le ito na la tuto ya moteo enji motsecha mo hole le ito na la khaute nga lefa pala tuto ele matume chilwane puong ya haika na nilonya temai na tuna kholo ya provinsi ya khaute ngile mpanya za li sufi oboleza hapuso ya provinsi ya khaute ngile teleza ho ema tsihezo nyaba na leba na wabashanya na mule mongwa huba neha ka ho bo lali lewe kweteke ba ho eza kheto tse ilu kiting li sufi u ananeze pulelo ena ka tsihezo ya lefa pala tuto leo puso ele ala nkabu long nyaba itudi young men that are committed to shape the future of our country and ensure that we deliver a South Africa that we can all be proud of. A South Africa that is orientated by skills, a South Africa that is eliminating drugs, a South Africa that will protect our women, a South Africa that will ensure that everyone has a good opportunity to prosper and be better people. Le tuna la tuto la khaute nge leng ma tume chilwane. Uwana neze tima ena pulelu nya hore ngwana wa mushanyana ugu shokwa mi bile o shoka tse hezo. Kulu nya hai hore ibe mweta bile ya dileng. Hotel is that they really need to acknowledge the role that they play. The future is theirs and the future is collective. Both young men and young women have to develop and develop the future together. So they need to fight and protect as well. And those who are vulnerable, they need to lead. So this is part of uh, the program. And really I'm saying that uh, in the main, they have a greater role to play in society. Ka ho le tabo long wa nengwa mwishanya na ibile buo ya le zazi. E hile nya ananelo akibo le ha holo holo bai tuti ba ne mbankile karolo di meng ena. Mo ba ile mba itona pela masale ma ele li di khalimelo. It's where Tupa Ikojoye Salimeti. Meanwhile, the Indaba saw the president engaging with young men on issues affecting them as well as the issues relating to gender-based violence and femicide. Temaya hukutisa na lesho kwa hile atulaburoko pa kentaba ituti baba shanyana hotwa di kolonse fapa nintewo harimba provinsi ya khauteng. Moho limo presidente wanaha eleng siro ramaposa. Tena atu shedi petahe tsebo harimba temaya young men and boys indaba. E nene tsuare tsuisi iting sama benkele sama ponya mose mo tani wa club spread. Pijana haka cheno. Ba ituti ba hileba akhela di pozo tseo ba inang le zona humo presidente kabo kweteke. Since much of the government response to domestic violence has been in the form of legislation and strategic plans which has not targeted the root cause of domestic violence. What proactive initiatives have been launched or engaged in to stop violence at the root cause? I have realized that there are some changes that need to be done and schools has to accept people like us and also reassure us that we also belong in this country and this world. And my question for, for Mr. President is, is that how from now on, how can we change schools that, ha don't, that have a policy that they don't want to have lesbians and gays in their schools? How are we going to combat the mental health of the young boys and young men these days yeah. when we see that it's been talked about but then they don't want to come forward? So how do we bring forward certain men's mental health? Okay, thank you. Ho ana nileng timayena ya di puisa no mo presidente Ramaphosa. Obolete hasi chaba se tamile ho ema mo ho ho di so nyang wana wa mwishanyana. Ho ruteng, ho aheng, ho ele zeng le ho aleng khalimelo. We recognize that we must engage you as men and boys and we want to create a more safe and open space where you can talk about your feelings. You're absolutely right. Men are terrified of talking about their feelings. 
So once we work on the attitude of men, so any of the 10 points that I mentioned, once we work on that, and in a school setting, we now know that young men treat women as their sisters, as their equals, they have respect for them, and full recognition of their condition and everything, then we no longer have to fear, and women should no longer fear uh, that that is like an enormous strides. It's made enormous strides in recognizing the LBGTQI plus community to make sure that they are recognized, they have rights, and they are not discriminated. And this we took as a conscious decision when we drafted our constitution. And we were clear in saying there is freedom of sexual orientation in South Africa. Ditabing Zaso we told TV, Kiman Mini Morolo Kiletlap Sprayed.